It was a meant to name place that was very... Like there wasn't any modern Western music. So they had to figure it out themselves. So it's not going to be the exact same as the guitar. Okay. Good. So this is normal. You don't need to act weird. Just be natural. Okay? Alright. Okay. So, you know nothing about the bass. No. It's not acting weird. What? Be normal. I am normal. Are you not? I'm not. Show us what you can play so far. Play something. Play something. I can't. Just do it. Go. Play something. Yeah, you. Okay. So, you don't know what the strings are. So, firstly, I'm going to get you to plug into my guitar quickly. Sort that out for yours. All good. So, the four strings in the bass it's E. A, D, G. It's the exact same as an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar. Yeah. So what you're going to do now is look at that tuner and you want to strum it and you string by string and you're going to use that to assess if it's in tune. So you strum just the top one, just an E. You see how it's veering off the left? That means it's a little bit flat. So tune it to the right until it's nice and middle for the green is. Just keep going. Okay. A little bit more. Good. That's about it. That's about oh. right. Now you do the A. Doesn't need to be spot on. This thing's a bit finicky. Cool. D. Ah, cool. So, that's it over here. And swap your thing again. And plug yourself back in and turn your amp on. So you already know the four strings, what are they again? Uh, G... Go from the top, top to the bottom. G... No. No. E. E. A. A. D. D. G. E. D. G. Um, there's a million different kind of like... Like, you know, like Father Charles goes down in his battle. Yeah. Different devices. You can make one up. Eat a dog. Every nation does good. Every... Yeah, <laughs> that works. Um, so as long as you know that, uh, we're going to show you the few of the notes just on the press. So, like, because you obviously know how to play your piano. Yeah. Uh, where they've got the the white keys and the black keys. Yeah. It's a lot more different to you figuring out the semitone. So each fret is a semitone. Yeah. So the way it works, if that's a C, which it is. Yep. The next one up is a C sharp. Okay. Then one up on that is a D, C sharp, E. Do you yep. understand? So if you know what are the four open strings again? Um, C, yep. oh, E, A, D, G. That's it, E, A, D, G. So if you look at it, the first string, yep. if you want to just, if we're just going up, counting out the scale, so E, F, G, for the next one, which is A. Yep. So E. First fret is an F. Third fret is a G. And then the next string is an A. And then the next string up. is open on the next string. That's it. So if you go open on the top one, first, third, and then open on the second string. Cool. So that's kind of making sense? Yeah. Now, with the actual playing, what you want to do is, you got the kind of stance right, but the fingers, same as any other guitar, is basically yeah. press down the fret, so it's not too hard. But with your right hand, uh, you want to do most of the playing with those two fingers. So, a ton of different people play different ways. Like, there are people that use like all their fingers when they play, because they get really fast. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people, some people use their thumb. It's, but generally, most people just use those two fingers. Yeah. So what I like to do is I like to put my finger on something of a rest. So I use the pickup. So you can use that too. So you just leave it on that, leave it on there, and just let your hand kind of dangle down. Yeah. And so from there, you just use those two fingers. So if you just use the E string, just let it dangle down. Just one, two, three, four, just like that. So lean up a bit and just let your arm. That's it. 
What you want to do is almost like, instead of like kind of jerking it too much, like you can do that later down the track, and yeah, that's a different technique, but you just want to get it nice, right? you just kind of brush past it. like a C sharp, you just know that's a C, it's just one up. Yeah, that's C sharp. Now, uh, when you're playing it, I just notice then you want to be careful that whatever fret you're pressing down on, you want to be as close to this end of the guitar as possible. Yeah. Because what it's doing is you're pressing down and it's making pressure across the nut there. Yeah. And that's what makes a note. So if you play it and it's all the way back there, you get that kind of... Yeah, that noise. So you want it to be all the way to the end. It's close to you almost want to be touching the, the fret marker. That's just how you make a nice long. And you don't get that. Yeah. That fuzzy noise that sounds doesn't sound good. Cool. So you've got the gist of that. Yeah. Uh, that's. So from there we can move on and start looking at uh, an actual scale. Yeah. How to play the scales and counting. You know they yeah. how they work and everything. So what I'm going to show you is the pentatonic scales. Yeah. Which are like, do you know the blue scale? Do you know any scales? Uh, I know a couple of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, the blue scale is just like slight variation on the pentatonic, and so most music, especially modern music, is all played on the pentatonic scales. So. It's the same as before, if there's like, if you just think of it in pattern, so if you're looking at the notes before it was open, one, three, open, two, three, open, yeah. So this one is going to be three, five, two, five. Sorry, I'm 
mess that up. So it's open, no, it's, it's three, five, two, spot as much as possible yeah so if you just kind of think this finger yeah so your middle finger the root finger stays on that third fret yeah third fret. so if you press the first one on that and then the fifth one leave that finger there but use your pinky on the fifth fret that's it you can stretch it out we can you can move you can take it off but just as long as you know that that's what you use and then the next string you go into two so use that finger, yep, and then pinky on the fifth, and the same on the other string. So you want to just try and keep, see how the, see how many fingers across almost a, a fret each? Yep. That's what you want to kind of try and aim towards. So any note that's being played on this fret should be this one. Yep. And you're on this side. I think you yeah. understand. So if you watch when I do it. See how they stay, it's basically those three just stay in that same spot. Yeah. I'll give that a try. So third is right, third finger, middle finger, yeah. Steady beat, and just see if you can get it like happening in the beat. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's one. You can do it. It's not take as long as time as you want, but just make sure it's steady. So if you're gonna do double beats. That's the major pentatonic. The other one is the minor pentatonic, which is where the blue scale yeah. comes from. Yeah. So same, similar thing, where it's it's a um, what's the word? It's just the pattern that you follow. Yeah. Cool. So it's three, five, six. Done it anymore. 
to say three, six, three, five, three, five. You're going to try that? So it's three, six, three, five, three, five. with the beat going. Tap out whatever beat you like. Take take your time, you don't have to like rush it. So the blues scale, if it ever gets to the point, like with especially with the guitar, that's used for soloing and stuff. Yeah. So it just sounds good no matter what. So if you're playing it over, if someone's playing like a, we just pretty much anything. They're playing the chords. If you've got the right chord, so if it's in the key of A, if you start from the A, uh, you play the same same scale. So one. Yeah. If you're soloing or using any like that, that's able to be used pretty much all those notes. So. Yeah, you just play around with it and it sounds interesting. Cool, so the next thing I want to go over a little bit is you've got to get the technique down. You understand like how it strums, you yeah. understand that you keep the fingers on the back end of the strings. Yeah. Uh, you know how the notes break down, so you got the quarter notes, which is on every beat. Yeah. Then you got half that, you got double that. Do you know how triplets work? Uh, yeah, it's where you put three to the one beat. Yeah, cool. So what we're gonna try and do is same as before, I'm gonna stump a beat and it's gonna pick a note. We'll say G. Do you remember which one's G? Um open string the top. It is, correct. Good memory. <laughs> what about in the E string? No, not quite. Third. So if you just want to hold that down, make sure it's a nice strong note, make sure your fingers are on the wrong spot, make sure you have everything's comfortable. And so what you want to do is say this beat, one, two, three, four, it's with each beat, one, two, three, four. Just play, just with each beat, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So you want to make sure no matter what, no matter how fast you are. 